Hello and welcome back, this is Incitoris and I'm continuing playing Darkness Within in Pursuit of Lot Nolder and I just load in the game. I'm a bit hazy what I was supposed to do, let's uh, check the brains. Change medicine. Oh right, I think we have to take the medicine to the uh, office and uh, after that I think we have a new area to look. I'm almost certain. So I am almost certain I have already done everything inside here. So we might as well leave. Hopefully light lighting should be okay. Hopefully Oh, this door doesn't open. I'm almost certain that I'm... Oh, it was automatic. I'm almost certain that I... I will be missing things in this game playthrough, but... Okay. I suppose Arthur can find it here, so I'm leaving the medicine bottle here. Uh, he did it automatically and um, anything we can find from here except these papers yeah I'm gonna take a quick check gameplay no 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 difficulty options uh, underlining always or on mm. yeah I think I put pack on I might try to change it back on certain papers, but I really try n well, probably I will not try to find every clue because I, I'm i almost certain I missed already. So, oh, please. I have a Bergen's cabin. Okay, I think that's the new place we need to go. Is that a... Some kind of deer? I hope that was a, some kind of deer or something. Okay, who was that? Who stands at the top of cliff in a place like this? Again, I think I need to... Well, I'm gonna... First, I'm gonna make a save. Yes. Iva Bergen. And apparently... I totally forgot this problem. Go into sound. I really should check the files, why it doesn't keep those settings. I might check it right now, be right back. Well, I couldn't find any guides or anyone else who had this problem. Although this is an old game and um, only available Steam. Can I? Why can I? Can I? Hello? Hello. This man. I know him from somewhere. Ah, yes. He must be Edwin Pickman. Oh, really? One of my favorite poets. Yeah, we do know that. Hello? Uh, do you need help? Is there a problem? Can I ask you a question? You're Edwin Pickman, aren't you? The boy. Let's start with that. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? You're Edwin Pickman, aren't you? The poet? Yes, I think I am he. I am Pickman. It's a real pleasure to meet you, Mr. Pickman. My name's Howard. I'm a great fan of your work.
Okay, do you need help? Is there a problem? Do you need help? Is there a problem? Problem? Yes, there's a problem. A bigger problem than you could ever possibly imagine. Please, sir, just calm down and tell me what the problem is. We're out here in the middle of nowhere and you don't seem to have a car. Do you need help getting out of here? No. I can handle everything by myself, I assure you. That's okay. I'm sorry to have... So apparently we can't help him. Well, thank you. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. Okay. Well, right. Okay, we got a note, which is, um, uh, Where's the new paper? Okay, it's here. From the eyes and evil hate, I've learned to hide in the darkest shade. But before the time of the cursed date, I'll dare to leave the shadows. Ominous, I could do a little test and uh, see if I can find any. Um, oh, no, 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 wrong button. Let's see if I can find any clues there. And uh, apparently we are not too fussy about from the eyes, evil hate. I've learned to hide the darkest shade. Cursed day. That could be interesting. Hmm. Evil hate. Eyes and evil hate. Let's try that one. Okay. Okay. Um. I could go to bed the whole okay yeah let's try this this is a little cheese cheesy way to do it but now that I started I might as well it starts to look like we don't find anything from here and apparently no so yes So, I'm guessing he jumped, and uh, we are not that faced about it, apparently. Which is a little peculiar, if I might say so. Well, let's move on. Do I use my car or are we so silently that he disappeared? Even I can't tell if it this was real. Is this one of my dreams? Will I awaken in my bed again? I want to leave this desolate place immediately. Only the silent, sleepy, st staring houses in the backwoods can tell all that has lay lain hidden since the early days. And they are not communicative, being loath to shake off their drowsiness which helps them forget. Sometimes one feels that it would be merciful to tear down these houses, for they must often dream. H.P. Lovecraft. That sounds familiar. I can't remember the story's name. So this must be the cabin that was mentioned in Mr. Field notes. It was uh, very hard to find. I had to leave my car at the road and walk a long way through the forest and get the here. This place looks very old. I wonder why someone would want to build in such a desolate place like this. It's far away from even the closest road. Well, maybe somebody enjoys uh, privacy. There are many reasons for that. And again, thank you. 
and we might as well save i don't think there's anything we can do at the moment uh i will again yes okay anything outside do we sleep no no i don't at least for now i'm guessing i can't really do anything outside hopefully so let's move forward oh hello there bird yes i was talking to you are you gonna pick my eyes out what happens if i can i click you are you a uh, Raven? I'm trying to click it. Can I click you? Come on. Nothing? I'm trying to click you. Not, no, no, no. The right one doesn't work. What can I do with anything with you? Okay. That's enough for that. Just one more. No. So, in we go. Door on the left, door on the right, loud noises. So, left, I'm gonna go left first. Anything here? Nothing. So, left first. What do we have here? Note. Face painting, bed. So we are in the bedroom, I guess. Do we have? There is something over there. A paintbrush with paint hardened on it. I guess we take it then. There is something there. I can't really make it out. I think a flower, I guess. I'm guessing flower. Yeah, this is quite a dark game. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Okay. Uh, before we check the note, can I open these? No. Lantern. A blank piece of paper. So I'm not taking the blank piece of paper. Okay. Are you certain it's blank? Anything... Can I? I can move forward, but there's there's something on the. Yeah, I saw that when I was walking towards here, trap door. And um, it's locked. Well, that is obvious. I guess we need to find a key. Stating the obvious here. And. Um, Anything else? It's so dark. Those strange circles on the ceiling, no idea. Can I do... No, I don't think I can. Blank piece of paper. Can I use the brush on it? I don't know why, but let's try. I don't think I can use it this here. Okay. So we can't use it here. Anything there? At least I don't see anything. Something on the chair? No. Well, hopefully we have everything from here for at this time. Oh, that's the right side door. Let's go there now. And I'm guessing this is a kitchen. What's there? I'm a little tea, but round and stuff. Here is my handle, here is my snout. Something like that, I can't remember how it actually goes. And um, some soup. 
I'm seeing and uh, no idea what those are and anything else I'm just using the cursor to try to see something but I can't see anything important and uh, no definitely something there and there's something we can watch what about here some jars nothing over there oh uh, okay where was it oh there you are Thinner. thinner uh, kind of thinner okay uh, can I combine that with the brush don't know how, why would I do that but oh uh, do I use the and combine oh, I'd better change my point of view this so this was a brush okay yes it was the brush so for now we are not combining anything at all i'm guessing okay and that was the only thing i could see there what is that <gasps> mm. Where did it go? Oh, no, it's over here. Uh, okay, uh, it's a stick with a hook. So, we're gonna stick with a metallic hook on one edge, okay. I... Metal pot. Hmm, maybe if I put the thinner on the metal pot. Can I do that? I can! Can I now use the paintbrush on the metal pot? I cleaned the paintbrush with thinner. Now we have a paintbrush I cleaned with the thinner. It's soft and pliable now. Good. Good, good, good. Anyways, uh, what else do we have here? But how that really helps me, I have no idea. I can't see anything else, at least for now. And there was nothing over here, the soup, tea kettle. Okay, back we go, and... Um, Up we go then. And I'm taking a sip of water. Interesting painting. Right. So are these like um, water splashes from the rain in a puddle? Pictured from top down. Yeah, I guess they are. Okay, what was that? noise yeah i go with my former hypothesis hy hypothesis that these are the paint tops and uh, what is this i thought it was locked okay right this is a small study and what do we have here well, let's move forward first. Can I open this? It's locked. Do I have my car keys, fields house, and, and nothing else? No, that's nothing. Okay, yes, thank you. Uh, 
And um, anything over here? No. At least my cursor don't show that there would be something. What's over here? Paintings. I. It's locked. Uh, okay, so what am I missing here? There's things I can't open at the moment. And a lot of things. I do have the hook. So that would imply... An attic? Maybe? But... Not here. No. Okay. Uh, I'm st anything behind the painting? No. Okay. What am I missing? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so there's something. What is this? I think there's a trapdoor up here. Well, it's too high to reach. Well, obviously it's too high to reach. So we are trying to use the wooden stick. I'm guessing it will work. Uh, hopefully we can, because basically without that, I don't think we can move forward. Okay, so we got stairs. Now we can go up. What are these? Uh, okay. More fishy, fishy, fishies. Uh, lots and lots of... What is that? That I don't know. So, lots and lots of, well, not lots, but uh, anyways, a few underwater creatures. But that looks more like a tick, but who knows. And uh, trying to see if there's something I can activate with my... There's a paper over there. Can I? No. I'm guessing we can move forward here. Yes. Yeah, we can use the telescope. There are books we can look and uh, map. Oh. For some time, we have been searching for a particular book, the Time Bore. It is the translated version of the book called Infinitus, which is impossible to find. The Infinitus was written in Latin in a very confusing manner and was attributed to Marinus, uh, who, was a who was an alchemist and demonologist, who wrote an ancient and obscure book entitled Primitiva. It is related that he died in his laboratory in a fire which broke out suddenly. His corpse was never found. Well, that's usually the story in these kind of things. It was really difficult to find the time bore because even mentioning its name was enough to draw the attention of the ones who know what it really is. The book had to be hunted down at all costs, since the knowledge it contain, contains is infinite importance to, the, to our ultimate goal. According to the time bore, which includes a lot of confusing diagrams and drawings, with the right timing and preparation, things can be summoned from spheres beyond this uni universe or even death. With this ancient knowledge, things, are long, things long forgotten can be discovered again. 
With the aid of the map, we discover the place where the ones who will be summoned in order to achieve our goal lay. Even though the old text gave us information about them, the locations of the tombs were not specified due to the need for complete secrecy. The discovery made last month by Mr. Kirvan was important. They are in crypts below a tomb which stands in a very old cemetery, in which interments had been prohibited prohibited some time ago. The aforementioned tomb is registered in the names of Samuel William Poyer. As a result of his this information, it was determined who would be awakened from their long sleep. All the preparations for the turning back were done under the side of the star Pleiades uh, by Mr. Kirvin. It is only a matter of time when the ones who are waiting silently in their dark tombs for this day to come return. Everything will have begun. Okay. At least two clues. Um, start with this. Nothing particularly interesting. Okay. Um, infinitus. Nothing particularly interesting. Um, Marinus, no. Do we need notion of alchemist and demonologist? No. Primitiva. Nothing particular. Okay. His corpse was never found. I don't know if this is important. Let's see. Nothing. Uh, so time bore. Can it be later if it's already tried? No. At least not at this moment. Um, according to time bore, which includes a lot of confusing diagrams, uh, diagrams and drawings. Anything? Nothing particularly interesting. Okay. Things can be summoned. Oh! What would could be the things? Okay. From Spears. So we had find hidden clues. Okay. That's good to know. So there are no hidden clues, but at least clues beyond this universe. No. That's not important, of course. Even death. No, not important at all. Um, ancient laws, okay. Uh, with the aid of map. Aid of map. Oh, I don't think that's important. And it isn't. Yeah, this is a little bit. Hmm. I'm guessing it's the cemetery and some name. Tombs. No. Uh, made last for Mr. Kevin. No. Crits below a tomb. Some tombs are mentioned here, so that's the first one. Okay. Are those people looking for a crypt? Well, yes, yes, they are. Uh, Stands in very old cemetery. Old cemetery. I don't. Nothing particularly interesting. Yeah, I agree. The interments had been prohibited for some time. This aforementioned tomb is registered the name Samuel William Poor. 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 Uh, hmm. Samuel William Poor. I think I've heard this name before, but I can't recall when. I'd better remember this. It may be important in the future. Okay, that name is. As a result of this information, it was determined who would be awakened from the sleep. All the preparations for the turning. I'm well. Hidden clues are one, but I'm still making checks. Nothing particular. In the Pleiades. No, Kevin. Nobody cares about Kevin. 
Samuel William Poor. That seems familiar. I have. Hmm. Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Where poor? Um. Maybe it was in the recordings of the. Do I have fields organizer? Yeah, maybe it was in the Clark fields. We have notes. No. Do I have the notes from the? No. I think it's a book on the building where we can find the dates. It might be that uh, Clark Field were listening in the crypt of the poor. I'm not certain. That would make sense. Anyways, I think we have that from here. But why we can watch this? Anything? Is this this is down? Okay. So I I'm it seems like we should find something here. I think, but I'm not certain. No. Those noises are nice. Ah, okay. Wait. Okay. Right. But why we can watch the fishes and not comment? Okay, whatever. Oh, look. Okay, I'm gonna read this one. Yes. First, a little sip. My aim in writing these notes is to document information of archaeological importance. No, this is not scientific. Even so, I feel an urgent need to write. Right. <laughs> Sitting here, I'm surrounded by a dark and obscure jungle. My investigation has led me here, accompanied by my guide who gr grudgingly agreed to come with me at the behest of his village. And now I wait for him to back hack a path through a dense underbrush, under underbrush, thick ivy and high grass. I will continue writing, although the skin is peeling off my hands and they ache unbearably. Also, I had to think what effect the humidity will have on my papers. Neither do I know how far away I am from the jungle village that I left six days ago, nor do I know how much farther I have yet to go. My guide must stop to rest frequently. I know that he is becoming increasingly afraid of me. My nervousness grows as I approach my goal in this dense jungle where I suspect no human being has set foot before. It may very well be that I am mad. The thought has crossed my mind some nights. Since leaving the jungle village, whose name I can't pronounce, pronounce, leaving that disgusting village was a relief. I continued to travel through the forest with my guide. He doesn't speak my language, and in spite of the fact that he is experienced, I think we may be lost. At the town 147 miles away from the jungle, from the jungle village, the locals warned me about cannibals in the region that don't welcome strangers. They told me that it would be not be wise to go there, but but the quietly but the quietly whispered words of the townspeople aroused in me a feeling of curiosity that was impossible to ignore. I was told that the other tribes in the region have an animistic religion, while this one follows a very dark monotheistic one. The people who I spoke with told me that the tourists, scientists and other travelers are frequently attacked when entering the region. I hear some disgusting rumors about missing people ending up as a fair on the banquet tables at a strange nocturnal festival. I think I have to try to underline this in here. 
And then we have interesting drawings. When I first set the eyes on the village, the thing that caught my eye at then caught my attention was the strange architectural style of it. Nothing like primeval village. I stayed on a hill to the south of the village, observing it for the long for a long time. The white spiral shaped huts with the walls made of dried mud, in contrast to the green background were reminiscent of some crustaceous sea creature. I know now that their design was derived from the far more splendid architecture. The colossal triliton, which stands at the entrance to the village, is de decorated with carved figures and what looks like a writing. On a closer examination, the size of this ancient triliton was awe-inspiring. I immediately, I immediately understood that it had come from somewhere else and had been transported here with great difficulty from some faraway place. I spent fourteen fearful days and nights in the cannibal village, and witnessed many disgusting and vile things. We had great difficulty communicating, although some of the villagers understood a few words of my language. They treated me kindly and were quite hospitable from the start, as though they recognized me somehow. I was never able to figure out why. Even though I repeatedly told them my name, they had addressed me by another similar name. I can't pronounce it, but the closest approximation is Lawoth. As the days passed, I noticed that they treated me with increasing respect. This did not change my feelings towards them. The diabolical dances started to be performed during the last days of my visit there, and I thought that they were performed because of great fear that was felt towards the jungle. These dances were accompanied by cacophonous hymns and only terminated when all the participants smacked their palms crazily on the ground. And there was a group of people who said to me that they were going to some ruins in the depths of the jungle. But I secretly watched them and noticed that after these silent, regular nocturnal visits, when they returned sweating, there were fewer people present than the number who had set out. Anyways, I don't want to spend any more time writing about them. We will be leaving here shortly. This may be my final entry. The pain that I feel is gradually getting worse. Even walking has started to take its toll. My body is becoming contorted and deformed. Just holding this pen is difficult. This is nothing but a curse. For some time, I have been seeing spiral ruins and ornamental blocks with hieroglyphics and or drawings on them. The serpentine branches of grotesque trees clutch at the clutch at the sky, and silent wells are open to the dark de depths of the earth, leading me to believe that I am approaching my goal. I am searching for some nameless ruins in the middle of the jungle. Beside me, my skinny cannibal guide keeps looking over his shoulder at me in fear, as if I too were one of the wild creatures of this jungle. Although we had traveled north up to this point, I can see from moss on the bark of the streets that we have changed direction and are heading east. I don't trust this cannibal with me. He watched passively while holding his machete in his hand as a crazy gorilla attacked me. I will not forget his hopeless expression when I won that bloody struggle. Well, I think he was changing to someone. Do I have that book? No. So it's over here. I'm gonna take a quick test and uh, see if we can find something to underline. Um, yes, open the book and uh, writing not sitting even so jungle investigation. <sighs> Village, something, 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 something that could actually uh, pique my interest, so to speak. Cold jungle, suspect no one, no human. Um, uh, mad, yes, maybe, maybe you are transforming to something. It feels like it. Disgusting village. Uh, jungle locals warn me that cannibals. Could that be important? Nothing particularly interesting. They told me. Quietly whispered, but townspeople arose in me, feeling curiosity, impossible to ignore. I was told that the tribes in the region have animistic religion. Animistic religion? 
maybe. Nothing particularly interesting. Uh, very dark monotheistic one. No, not no interest at all. Okay. Another trash frequently attack when entering the region. I heard some disgusting rumors about missing people ending up a pair of penguins. Noctu Noctura festivals, maybe? Maybe? No, nope. Nothing we can underline from here. Koimai was a uh, strange architecture style. Nope. No, 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 no. Uh, white spiral shaped huts. Nope. Sea creatures. Crustus is sea creatures. Nope. Um, Triliton. Let's underlie Triliton. Let's see. Nope. Um, Coins by him in the line so that some some has been transported here. Difficult to transport 40 if you okay. Difficulty communicating. No, they were treating me kindly. Loath. That's that's not in. No, no, no. Okay. Um, increasing respect and my feelings to that dial by the dancers. Thought they were perfect because okay, back of one hymns. Smack their palms, grazing at the ground. That sounds oddly familiar uh, from the other books we already read earlier. Uh, Anyways, I don't want to spend any more time writing about them. Okay, the pain. I gradually curse. Nothing but a curse. No curse is not important. Okay. Block ornamental blocks with hieroglyphics and drawings. No. It's gone. But the interesting point is, uh, was the uh, first guide also cannibal? Or did the original guide die and um, and um, new he got a new guide from the cannibal cannibal guide skinny skinny cannibal guide let's tr let's see nothing interesting nothing okay this should be I will not forget uh, crazy gorilla I won oh. Can I? I mean, may not. I want that bloody struggle. Okay. If there is something, I probably missed it. Um, but again, I tried. I tried. So we got that one. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna no. This is. Hopefully I don't miss anything important. I don't think there's over anything over there, but what are okay. This is the loose translation of the upper portion which was written in strange cipher system. To make a talisman, put fennel seeds, frankincense, and quicksilver under a crystal with the character of the Pleiades. The name of tar Star Pleiades was just assumed from the, its sign. Its name is not uh, directly mentioned in the passage. Due to the influence of Pleiades, which has been uh, drawn at the right time, a properly prepared talisman can gather demons and spirits of deceased people. Thus, one can summon them and learn from them the things and the secrets one wishes by using the talisman. Again, I have to try. Okay, always apply. Continue. Let's open this and uh, strange cipher system. No. Uh, maybe we need the info of this. No. Do we need this? 
Oh, it is obvious that the magical form was used to summon something. I once saw something like this in a book described as a magical magical description. Okay. Influence of players do I need to which has been drawn at the right time. Probably pre prepared talisman can gather demons and spirits of deceased people. No. Does one can summon them or learn from things from them? Is that the only thing we can learn from this talisman? No. Play this, influence play this. No. What about crystal? Nothing party. Okay, I maybe that's all we need to know from that. I don't think it even noted. Now that we have this, let's do one. No, it doesn't show us if we found everything. Okay. So I couldn't play the game. And um, anything on the bed. I try to be as thorough as I can be. Now, what can we see? Oh. Can we use this? Yes, we can. Is there something we are supposed to see? I think this is a Northwood Mountain. Is there a cave entrance there? Uh, I'm not sure. Am I supposed to do something here? Okay. Music, music, music. Thank you. Huh. Can I find anything else? Uh, no. Northwood Mountain cave entrance there. And um, nothing I can do about it. I hopefully, hopefully we have the information about it. Uh, what do I do now? Tombs and Samuel William Poor. Poor. Maybe something else. Magical description. Let's try using the player. So with talisman prepared with this magic one can summon demon spirit and deceased. Okay. Clock fields residence. Uh, hallucination some dock somewhere. Christopher T. Tridden. Warning to the police. Edwin Pickman. Okay. I'm not certain. What are we supposed to do now? My house. Can I continue two days sleep? Mm. Hallucination. Changed medicine. Let's let's see. I better change my point of view. Let's drop that. That didn't ring a bell. Hmm. Okay. This is starting to What else do I need? Because there are two lock was there something? Do I see something over there? No, there are two locked doors. And is there anything over here? I'm kind 
There's only this paper. Yes, and we have found everything from it, okay? And I can't see anything over there. Yeah, I'm, this is slow paced, yes. Truly slow, too slow. Um, I can't see anything. Do I go down now? Um, I'm definitely missing something somewhere. I'm starting to feel like I have to check a guide. I hate that. But there are two things I can maybe open. Okay, I take a little... No. I take a last look on the downstairs. And um, see if I can see anything there. If I can't, then I may have to check the... May have to check the guide. So the problem, at, of course, is partly. Oh, I could do this. So this don't affect the recording, but it might help me to see a little bit better because this is quite dark. So if I'm missing something, nothing over there. No. So was there? No, I can't interact with those. This door is not. Nothing. That is empty. It looks like it. Uh, flower pot. There's a paint thinner. Um, that is nothing. Okay, I'm. Um, can I walk over there? No, I can't. I'm sorry this takes a little while, but I try to be thorough. And uh, if I can, I would. I would not like to use the guide. But it start to seem like I might have to. Although I could try the hint system if that is possibility. There's a paper which I... it's blank. Can I... No. That, this won't work. Well, no it doesn't work of course because I think we might need something. Can I open anything? No. Painting... We are not communicating about that hideous looking statue. Is there something here except of course the... It's a trap door here, yes. It's locked. Do I have... I have my car case. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't think this can even use be here. Well, I agree, but at the moment I'm a little bit... Desperate. If I'm completely. Did I? S okay. Again. Thank you. Did I see s something change, or was it my hopeful imagination? Well, this is awkward. This is really awkward. That sticks out. But I don't think I can do anything about it. Let's see. No. Okay, I'm gonna check the up upstairs and attic once more. Now that I can see a little bit better. 
And if that fails, I think I have to... Either use the hint system if I'm able, or... No, oh, there's a holy grail over there. Okay. It's locked. Gonna go... No. What am I missing? With my luck, it's something very obvious. And my brains just don't work at all. So let's see. No, that's nothing. I can't really look that. And... Um, no. Books, books, books. Was there something here? No. And it's locked, obviously. And I really don't have paintbrush. Where can I use paintbrush? And my character doesn't even give a clue. Okay. So, last I checked, I can't really see anything in these. And I can guess that some of you are tearing your hairs at the moment. Uh, I'm starting to get frustrated a little bit because that's down. There are stuff over there which I... Is this totally empty except the book? Yes. Okay, a little bit back, yes. There's a hammer, but I can't take it. Paper, paper. Nothing. No, it's just a bit notes. Yeah, we know the Okay, I will have to check the guide now. This is awkward. Oh, uh, before we got check the guide, let's use in-game hint system if we can. No hints available. Okay. Guidebook it is. See you soon. Well, this was a little bit awkward. Fortunately, I didn't spoil that much for myself and uh, yeah this is uh, the problem oh, yeah I could actually save now um, <laughs> the solution is so simple I just got stuck in the idea that uh, I need to open the trap door or the desk when the solution is actually just leave. Yeah, uh, a little bit awkward. This is the problem for me with these games, that uh, I get stuck in the idea that you have to open everything at that time. If you see a lock that needs to be opened, you need to open it right away. And uh, for that, I felt that I was missing things, but I wasn't. So anyways, let's leave. The raid. I wasn't expecting you so soon. Where did Didn't you get the note? The raid? He's got me cornered. But who is he? He acts as though he knows me, but I have never met him before. 
Why does he seem to know me? The note. He must mean the one I found at home. Okay, you left that note? You left that note? So you did find it. So why did you come here this early? I oh. came here to talk to Mr. Dredden. Hmm. Then you're going to be disappointed. He disappeared after his exploration of Moreland Cemetery. Not to worry, though. We'll take care of this situation. Oh, right. Anyway, at least this is a lucky coincidence. I realize I've forgotten to give you the key. Time to get out of here before my luck runs out. Okay, thanks. I'll be leaving now. Okay, Lorraine. Be careful. He recognizes me. But how? I have never seen him before. How could he know me? And where did he come from? He wasn't in any of the rooms I've checked. Hello, Birdie. Well, we do know that he basically came from through the hatch. What keys we got? Uh, it's over there. A key ring with two keys. It was given to me by a strange man I spoke at, to at the, spoke to at the cabin. Meeting at the cabin. Yeah, it was this note then. Oh, and I realized I have to take the gamma a little bit down. I could keep it high. But that is okay. And, uh, well... No, we're leaving. Yeah, I fortunately, well, I knew that we are going to meet the... I should wait at home until nightfall, then I'll come back and check. I feel exhausted. I've been through a lot today. Is the big man, that man in the cabin hall, cabin's hall, I'd better rest a bit. Yeah, before we do that. Okay. Why is the camera shaking? Am I in control? Yes, I am for now. Uh, I could go to the... I feel so tired, so I can't leave just yet. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick save just to be certain. I don't think you can die in this game. At least in the normal sense I feel. Yeah, uh, I, I'm i almost certain that happened for me when I played this first time. Because, yeah, you see that those two locked things, you feel you have to open them and you are trying to see what you're missing you manage to use the paint thinner or the brush and thinking okay where do i use this and you get so well at least me i got so fixated about those two locks that uh, the obvious solution is just leave at least try to leave and see if you can go somewhere else and get something out there but uh yeah that's sometimes my problem anyways we are going to back to bed let's see if it takes two days or whatever No, I'm not in control at the moment. Where am I? It is so beautiful here. This vista is so soothing. Oh, now I'm in control. 
Okay. Is there some kind of form here? Spiral form, maybe? Where can I move? Where can I move if I... Okay. Oh! Oh, that's... This. Eclipse. Something's wrong. I feel different. Oh, poo. Okay. Am I... What is happening to me? What is the meaning of this dream? It was so vivid that I cannot be sure it was a dream. I'm starting to get tired of this. What time is it? I should go and check the cabin again. It's... 20 past 11. I'd better check the cabin again. Almost 20 past. Okay. Let's see what the radio says. Is it working? I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. No message. No new messages. Okay. Oh. I don't. Nightmares. Oh, yes. I don't think we need that anymore, hopefully, at least. I could be also wrong. And um, let's check. I'm gonna go everything if we so that uh, as there might be some things you can do later I'm not certain okay I can't take the gun and not yes 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 very precious my prey apparently we can't take anything and clothes nothing interest there's nothing up no nothing up there and um And the time is still okay. Come on, move forward. What did the notes say? Oh no, not this note. Um, do I even have the little... A little note? Interesting. I do not have it anymore. Okay, and uh, let's go to the, uh, refre uh, refreshing ourselves. I don't need to use it right now. When did you last time use it? Jeez. And no, we don't have medicine. Obviously. And uh, nothing else. Can I actually call... No, 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 no. Mm. Yes. Arthur. I don't have reason to call him right now. Okay, fine. Fine. Um, I think... I shall make a save here. No, 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 no. Override first. Back. Can I? Okay. 
that is enough. Uh, and I think this is perfect place to end the episode. I know it's it it was a little slower episode, but what can you do? These games are slower. And um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.